This is the uh, latest project I've been working on. Um, this integrates some of the elements of the uh, prior chapters in this playlist, specifically um, an Arduino running a data logger and a water sensor. Only now what I've done is I've added this little weatherproof TTL camera that Adafruit sells uh, for the purpose of um, taking a photo when the whole system detects some flow in a wash, or in this case, at least for this demonstration, when I put this little, um, uh, this simple water sensor in this jar of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up and show you how it works, and we'll take it from there. So I'm grounding it right now. You can see my display um, basically says that a measurement is taking uh, place right now and that uh, there was no flow detected and now it's gonna wait 10 seconds. And it's gonna do this continuously every 10 seconds until water is actually detected by this, uh, by this little analog flow meter. So I set the thresholds in my, in my sketch just based on, on testing this thing out. Uh, when, uh, when an analog pin that's hooked up to this little um, water sensor reads greater than, than a signal of 500 uh, to basically execute a routine that will light this little LED and then take a photo and write the photo to this little SD card that I can later on download to my computer. So let's see how this thing works. So I'm gonna go ahead and now put this in water, watch the display. Uh, water was detected, so this little LED came on, and now it's saying that it's taking uh, a photo in three seconds. You can see that a photo was taken, and it's actually that little red light blinking over there indicates that the uh, photo is being written to that SD card, and then it'll wait another 10 seconds, and if, uh, if this thing is still wet, it'll do it over again. So right now it's uh, measuring, it's detected some more flow. It's going to take a photo in three seconds, and there we go. So it's just uh, one more level of complexity that we can add to our water sensor and uh, flow detector sketch that writes information to a data logger based on the previous chapters in, the, uh, in this playlist. And uh, this could be really useful for um, volunteers who do um, ephemeral wash monitoring in Arizona. Um, we have a group of volunteers um, who are part of the watershed management group, the uh, River Run Network. And that's a group of volunteers here in Tucson that um, are doing water harvesting activities throughout the watershed and then monitoring in downstream ephemeral washes and rivers to see if uh, those water harvesting uh, activities are actually having an impact, if we're actually restoring the flow in some of our rivers that once historically flowed here in Southern Arizona. So this is one way for volunteers to actually set up a, a little system uh, to actually monitor these ephemeral washes and take pictures and report back on, uh, on the frequency of the river flowing or the wash flowing in response to a rainfall event or or some other activity on the watershed. So that's really the, the purpose of this. Of course, you wouldn't want to deploy something like this in the field. This is all mounted on, a, <laughs> on, on an old uh, pan that I scavenged out of a garage sale uh, toaster oven. So this eventually gets encapsulated in a NEMA certified box. And then we're gonna, we're gonna take this little sensor and we're going to, uh, we're gonna encapsulate it in some PVC to make it uh, field worthy. And uh, the other thing, of course, is this is running off of um, four AA batteries right now. And uh, you need a minimum of five volts to keep this camera going. But for field deployments, um, where you want this thing to be running for a few days at a time, or, or maybe a few weeks at a time, I should say, of course, we're gonna have to figure out how to get this thing to run off solar power. And um, I've got some videos uh, talking about that shortly and some tests I'll be doing with this particular circuit. Mm -hmm.